Hello viewers, uh, I just thought I'd uh, look at something sort of that I've recently um, heard about with uh, prophetic stuff for the year 2021. So this year is virtually over, it's been pretty disastrous but and Christmas has been stolen by the Grinch. So um, now we've got 2021 to look forward to but it's looking like it's not going to be so great according to some of the prophecy that's out there. And there's one leading uh, prophetic person, uh, this blind visionary woman by the name of Baba Vanga. And she came up with some predictions, and one of her leading predictions was that a strong dragon would seize the world in 2021. Well, it seems pretty obvious who that is. Um, you know that um, Chinese culture, uh, they believe in um, you know the power of the magical dragon. It's kind of very symbolic for them and uh, really represents um, China to a large extent to the rest of the world. So the symbolism of the dragon um, is pretty strong with them. So, you know, uh, it's not a massive leap uh, of common sense or logic to say that this strong dragon that seizes the world in 2021 is looking like it would be China. Uh, and I think her prophecy or vision also includes um, others, uh, other allies getting on board with that. So there's been some other uh, prophetic visions about, um, you know, the times we're in and people have uh, um, put out prophecies talking about, you know, seeing a um, basically uh, the collapse of the United States as we know it and uh, an occupying force which includes um, Russian and United Nations peacekeepers. So the way the pandemic is going and the situation in America at the moment is pretty drastic. I mean, they're really kind of self-destructing or imploding. So it's, you know, this whole idea of a new world order, uh, it's really shaping up to be a communist future, you know, that um, the, the, you know, the economic uh, or social um, kind of uh, systems that are going to prevail into the future um, are looking less like um, it's going to be capitalism and more like it's going to be, you know, strict government control style communism, unfortunately. So what would this mean, you know, for for the world if this kind of thing was to happen? You know, what if America was, America was to implode internally with the pandemic, um, you know, lack of leadership, um, and just like internal wars and things like that. Um, I suppose, uh, you know, that um, the communist superpowers or powers would basically kind of um, seize it, seize control of it and then divide up its spoils, you know. Um, what would that mean for the rest of the free world? You know, countries like Australia, um, New Zealand, whatever, you know. Um, countries like us that were basically um, allied with the US and really dependent upon them, you know, uh, as the strong arm, uh, you know, of defense against against communism. So if that, you know, if America, as I said, was to collapse and be invaded by um, Russians and uh, Chinese and the United Nations, then um, there would be a new world order and uh, where would countries um, that are not communist stand? I don't know. I mean, maybe you've got to look at examples where um, China has got control uh, of countries that are not necessarily communist. Um, I don't know exactly the situation in Hong Kong at the moment, but um, they were recently um, returned to uh, the control by Beijing instead of by um, the United Kingdom. And uh, they're not very happy with that, you know. It's um, it's there's been a lot of that in the news about what's going on in Hong Kong, so um, you know, and the oppressive kind of rule of Beijing. So it'd be horrible to think that that would happen to the rest of the free world. You know, it'd be terrible times ahead. Um, but you know, we would survive. Um, we might just be sort of having to deal with a, a whole new way um, of living and thinking. A, don't think you know um, the rest of the world would want to try and stand up against um, communism. You know, if America does collapse, uh, God willing, it won't. But you know, if this prophecy of Baba Vanga comes true, then uh, we could be in for a strange new world indeed. 
uh, you know, so start learning your Mandarin and your Cantonese. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be a tough one. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Take care. Have a happy new year.